Alright. Uh, yeah, we back with a part two, baby. Part two. Uh, part two. Part two. Oh, we just gonna go in the spirit. What was we just talking about? Can't remember. We just kingdom of heaven. Yeah, we, oh, yeah, we always talking about the kingdom. Oh yeah. Oh, we just go in the spirit. Just bring out some random scriptures. Get a psalm or just read a psalm or something. Unless you got something. Yeah, got that little something. Uh, Moab's a wash pot. Moab's a wash pot. These are Chinese. Yeah. That's the COVID. Yeah. That's them Ronas right there. Yeah. That's some Wuhan. Show yeah. Wuhan looking asses. Yeah. Even. It says eating fucking dogs and cats and bats. Living things, living creepy things. And shit. Eating squids and octopi. That's only a heathen would do that. Only a heathen would eat octopi. Like, who does that? They eat live squids. Shark fin soup. I don't want to eat a shark. That's that's creepy. Who would do that? They be eating snakes. When I was in the, uh, the Marines, we was down in Thailand doing some training. Bro, they was teaching us to... They had king cobras. Like, in front of us, it, one of them got loose. Okay. Some jackass got it, and he let it loose, and everybody ran. But they was teaching us how to kill a king cobra snake, chop its head off, drain its blood, and drink the blood. And that's survival. They ain't mentioned nothing about herbs or nothing. It's like, really, that's the best way to survive, is to kill a king cobra and drink his blood? Like, who does that? That's, some he that's what the Thai Marines taught us. That's only some of the heathen would do. Oh, yeah, too. Esau was teaching us how to kill hares. We was up in the mountains. They killed this big-ass mountain hare. I was doing mountain training in California. Was that Bridgeport, California? They had this big-ass hare. You are a big-ass rabbit? It was a hare. This motherfucker was giant. And they just killed it right in front of everybody. Dude took the eyeball out, ate the eyeball. There was an Edomite. You know when they eat a Edomite Marines? Yeah. That's only something a heathen would do. You just pull out an eyeball and eat it. And it was Disgusting. laughing. Everybody's laughing. Everybody's like, let me eat the other eyeball. Fucking Edomites eating eyeballs. So that's only some, some heathens would do. That's an unclean animal. Eating a, uh, what's that, a hare? A coney or a hare? You can't eat rabbits. Fuck out of here. People be, I seen YouTube videos, people eating squirrels. They teach you how to skin it. What was you reading? But, uh, Psalm 60 and, uh, uh, shit says eight says uh, over at Edom will I cast out my shoe. I just want to take my shoe off. I'm gonna do it. Look at that puma. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. That's a uh, the insult. Remember in the Middle East they still yeah. do that. Yeah. Remember when they threw the shoes at uh, President Bush? Yeah. They started. He was ducking him. He was laughing too. He's like, he ain't get me. Yeah. He was ready. <laughs> Yeah. They started throwing their shoes at Bush. So, That's like the ultimate insults for somebody to throw their shoe at you. That's a, we just we can throw more than shoes at you. We're throwing bowling bowls at you. So, the Lord give us that power. This is a first day. Uh, triumph thou because of me. Uh, who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? But not thou, O God, which has cast us off, and thou, O God, which didst not go out with our armies. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through so vain, that's the fire right there. It says, vain is the help of men. So our help is the, the most high. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh, Sumi, Yahweh, Shai, that's our help. We got that, the, what's that, the celestial powers, the heavenly powers. It says, hey, just like the... The Maccabees, you said during the time of the Maccabees, yeah. when they had an angel come down to help them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Who else was that during the time of, uh, yeah. was that King Hezekiah when the angels came down and burned up the Assyrians? Yeah. The Lord can send angels down. He got angels can pass about us right now. But you can't even see the angels. 
Or just like the scripture said, you might meet somebody who could actually be an angel. It said we have entertained angels unaware. Them angels is out there working. Who they stirring it up? It says through God you shall do violently, for ye it is that shall tread down our enemies. Ooh, what did that say? It said who? So read that part again. Through God we shall do violently for Oh, you said for what? Yeah, read that slowly. I'm sorry, but did you hear what that said? Through God we shall do violently. Through God we shall do violently. Oh, I can't pronounce that. Vi, 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 whatever. Violent, oh, valiantly. valiantly yes. I was about to say, I thought you said violent. That's like, that's fire. But vi, valiant. We're going to be valiant. Because we're going to be like warriors anyway. When the Lord gives us power, go ahead. For he it is that shall tread down our enemy. See? For he it is that tread down our enemy. The Lord going to tread down our enemy. And he's going to give us power. Give me an Obadiah 18. It's proof the Lord going to give us power to destroy all the Edomites. And he's going to use the Israelites to do it. But he's going to give us actual spiritual power. And this ain't going to happen because we, we're not violent people. We're not encouraging violence. You know, like, there's people out here burning down 5G towers and shit like that, you know. We're not encouraging nobody to do no shit like that, okay. We, we're not into violence. But when the Lord put his spirit on you, you're going to do what the Lord commanded you to do. You ain't going to have no control. Because he's going to put his spirit on you. He's going to give you power. And you're going to tread down your enemies. Up that one in 18 in the house of Jacob shall be a fire in the house of Joseph a flame. See, the house of Jacob is going to be a fire in the house of Joseph a flame. That's talking about all 12 tribes of Israel. And that's a future prophecy that's not yet happened. Proof of that is all 12 tribes are together right here. And there's no record in history when all 12 tribes came back together, except for right now when we're starting to come back together. We already have come back together through the teaching of the word. The elect has come together. Read that again. The house of Jacob shall be a fire in the house of Joseph and flame. And the house of Esau for stubble. The house of Esau for stubble. Go ahead. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For Yahweh has spoken it. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken it. So eventually we just made this video. With all everything we're talking about is all going to lead up to that. When the kingdom comes first, all these Edomites, they're going to go into slavery for a thousand years. The Lord said double under, uh, reward under her double. So you're going to get a thousand years of slavery, and then they're going to get burned up. There shall be none remaining in the house of Esau, for Yahweh has spoken it. It said none. Does that <laughs> The Christians, boy, you can hear them. But they say God love everybody. And all nations can be saved. It didn't sound like the Edomites are getting saved. Where, where, where's their plan? Where's God's plan for them? What's God's plan for the Edomites? God has a plan for you. You know how the Christians do it. You know God has a plan for you. So what's God's plan for the Edomites? It's going to be total destruction, bro. All the Edomites are going to be destroyed. That sounds like genocide. It sounds like mass, mass killing. I don't know where these Christians are getting their shit from. Oh, God loves everybody. Hey, you have Christians say, oh, Edomites can be saved. You got Israelites who say Edomites can be saved. You got actual Israelites teaching to say Edomites can be saved. They actually teaching that. They're like, well, if they accept the Lord in their heart, with all their soul, they can be saved. That is not, that's not what the book of Obadiah said. Even Paul said the same thing. Well, he said, as it is written, Romans 9 and 13, he said, as it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. So that's clear. It's clear. He is, uh, Psalms 18. And, uh, oh, that's fire. What's that song of David? It's birds. Yeah, let's see. Hey, the birds is chirping, Bill. It's beautiful. I know you about to come. Ooh, look at the sun and the branches. Sorry. Read the song. Whew. Psalms 18 and uh, uh, 40 dies also giving me the next of my enemies. That I'm oh, he's going to give us the next of our enemies. And that's a song of David. David is a man after the Most High's own heart. Okay. The Most High loved David. Read that again. That's also giving me the next of my enemies. 
that uh, that I might destroy them that hate me. Destroy them that hate me. That's what's gonna happen. The Lord, just like the Lord gave David power, He's gonna give us power. Just like David was able to run through a troop. The scripture said David killed tens of thousands. He killed tens of thousands on it. That could be anywhere from ten thousand. It said tens of thousands. Multiple tens of that, that could be up to a hundred thousand, you know what I mean? Five hundred. You don't know how many people he killed in battle. They say he had run through a troop by the power of the Lord. I think it says it here, don't it? Uh, and that one? Yeah, he had run through a troop. It's like on a video game. You see, uh, you just got one guy and you kill like hundreds of enemies. Yeah. That's the kind of power the Lord going to give us. Yeah. Go ahead. This is, uh, they cried, but there was none to save them. Who they cried, but there's none to save them? Oh, but he answered them not. That proved right there that... Ooh, they answered yeah. them not. Because some people, like you said, people saying they can just say, call on God or whatever, and say, oh, yeah, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. But some people going to call upon God, and he ain't going to answer. Because huh? the Lord ain't dealing with everybody. So, it's, 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 and, it's, and when the scripture says when you're going to be delivered, you're going to be singing the song of Moses. And if you read the song of Moses, it's him trying uh, going over his enemies, over uh, against the uh, Egyptians. Get it. Get the song of Moses. I ain't going to well, now, all of us, let's go find some key, because it does talk about Israel in the song. Of it does talk about killing enemies, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I just did a video on the song of Moses. Well, I was like, ooh, this is fire. Because that, that proves it's all about Israel, because the, the, the book of Revelation says we're going to sing the song of Moses. And that's the song Moses and the Israelites were singing. And we're going to know the words, too. Yeah. That's a long song. The Lord gonna put it in our spirit, and we're just gonna automatically know it. So, Exodus 15, 1, they sang Moses and the children of Israel. This song to how they say the children of Israel. So the, the, the song, this is for the children of Israel. Go ahead. Saying I was singing to how we have triumphed gloriously. Your horse and his riders have you over, uh, thrown into the sea. Talking about the Egyptians, the Lord sank their ass into the bottom of the sea like a stone. Let's get down to verse 15. It says, Then the dukes of Edom shall be amazed. Oh, the, the dukes of Edom shall be That's the Edomites. Go ahead. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, shall take hold upon them. All the inhabitants of Canaan shall melt away. Fear and dread shall fall upon them. For the greatness of thy arm, they shall be as still as a stone. Uh, till thy people pass over, O Yahweh, till the people pass over, which thou hast purchased. Uh, thou shall bring them in and plant them in the mountain of, the, of thine inheritance in the place of Yahweh which thou hast made for thee to dwell therein in the sanctuary O Lord and this which, is, we're going to sing this in the kingdom so in the kingdom of heaven we're still going to be singing about the Edomites getting jacked up by the Lord you know what I mean destroying okay. Edomites we're going to be we st that's what we're singing in the kingdom that's what it says and we, the Lord talking shit about all kind of nations go ahead uh, uh, which thou with thy hands have established, uh, Yahweh shall let it reign forever and ever. Yeah. And, yeah that's uh, a good scripture. And there are more too. There's some other parts in there, though. This is for the, uh, how the horse of Pharaoh went in with his chariots, with his horsemen into the sea. Hey, but you know what? The Exodus, that's the perfect thing to be into right now. Notice. Notice that the whole coronavirus shit started, what, during the Passover. Where the whole thing really went down right, right as we was going to our Passover. Not the fake Passover they got. Now they're already in the deep in the middle of it. But it started right when we did our Passover. Which is according to the lunar calendar. According to the Bible. And that's when the shit hit the fan. Right? It was, and like you see, what, what's going on today is very similar to the Exodus. You know what I'm saying? The Bible. When Israel went out of Egypt. Because now there's going to be a new Exodus. The Lord, he's going to lead us out of this piece of shit country and he gonna you know the pharaoh he they you know, they gonna get drowned again this time they gonna get drowned with that fire but the elite they gonna go to slavery though it's like what is that psalms 149 it says take their kings and nobles and put them with fetters of iron so the elite the elite the top guys edomites they going into slavery so they will be spared so they can be tortured What's that one scripture? Uh, your heart shall meditate terror. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 33. Yeah. yeah. 
Suppose we just read a uh, song of David. Oh, a song of Moses. I meditate terror, which the words describe, where's the receiver, where is he that kind of the towers? Yeah, so our heart's gonna meditate terror. The Lord gives us that power. Ha! Hey, you might as well get old uh, Jeremiah 16 and 16. Uh, I've seen something juicy. Jeremiah 16 and 16. Lord, I've sent for many fishers, said the hour, and they See, we've been fishing for years. Like, we already read the scripture in the last video about how he's bidding people to the marriage. You know, many are called, few are chosen. You know, when you go out here teaching, you teach. We're out here fishing when we're teaching. Obviously, we're fishing. Y'all got to understand that. So, but we bring in the good and the bad. We keep the good and throw the bad back, you know? <laughs> uh, go ahead. You got more to that? Yeah. Or I have someone call you? Oh, we can wrap it up in a minute, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, getting late, so I got to go do some work, uh, a little bit of work at least. Yeah, I got two things to do. It's uh, Jeremiah 16, 16. He said, Be what I was saying, for many fishers, said the hour, and they shall fish them. And after. And many fishers. There's a lot of fishers, ain't there? Mm -hmm. We got brothers teaching this word all over the country, all over the world, in every state, almost every country, everywhere, bro. This is global. They think they got their new world order. This is the real new world order. This is, this is order. This is the real order. Go ahead. And uh, <coughs> and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill, and out of the whole. See, at the first rocks. we was fishing, but soon we're going to be, the Lord going to turn us into hunters. <laughs> we're we going to hunt them Edomites out the holes in the rocks. Because, you know, they are, you see in the news, all kind of these rich elite people, they're going out to hide into them bunkers. They got their deep underground bunkers. You know, they got their little hideaway places. A lot of the elite go down to New Zealand. Nobody, they got bunkers in Switzerland up in the Alps and all that. Bro, you can go to the Himalayas in the deepest, darkest depths of the earth. We're going to find you. The Lord going to give us power. We're going to be like Superman out here, X-ray vision. Well, that sounds crazy, you know, but hey. What, what is an angel? An angel's crazy, ain't it? You believe in angels? You know what an angel could do? An angel could just, it could destroy the whole planet, destroy the whole military by itself. Just one angel. That's the thing, though. Esau got technology, he can see through walls. Why can't we do it? Oh, exactly. Most eyes is far superior than this nigga, so it's not far fetched. You know what I'm saying? That's true. Like, yeah. it's, I'll go ahead. Oh, that was that nigga can see in the dark and see far away. He got technology. Yeah. And it really, used, all the shit he's using is from the Lord's creation. He, different animals and shit. What do you call it? Uh, uh, Biomimic, whatever. Yeah. Like pretty much mimicking shit from the creation that the Lord created. So if the Lord created it, He can give that same power to us. Everything came out the earth and the minerals. Yeah. This camera came out the earth. Your fucking laptop and your computer and everything you got, all your electronics came out the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's all part of the earth. That's crazy. It's bugged out when you think about it. These cars driving down the street, they all came out the earth. You get a guitar, it came out the forest. You know what I mean? Just anything. It all came from the earth. That's a good point, man. This just blew my mind. Everything came from the earth. It's amazing, bro. Through all the different minerals and shit. All the different elements. Up in the, you know, they got the periodic table of elements. But they don't even know all the elements. The most high know all the elements. Who are they searching for that God particle? Yeah, you know? So, they got their Hadron Colliders. So they trying to figure out the most highest creation, but they can't figure it out. They can't figure it out. They, they still don't even know how the hell all this shit got here. Ha! They, they still perplexed. They did a Big Bang Theory. What was before the Big Bang? I don't know. What, what is the Big Bang? I don't know. They, they're not a lot of scientists that oh, we don't believe in the big. They don't know what the fuck they believe in. Hey, you tell me how did all this shit get here? All this is a coincidence. You need slaps. How the fuck? If it's all just a coincidence happening, like how? When you get a, a you see an eclipse? How the fucking sun and the moon would go perfectly over each other in a perfect circle? How the fuck does that happen? 
It's got to be designed that way. What you guys think? What you guys think? You want to wrap it up? Yes, sir. Right, we just going to wrap it up, man. We've been out here for a minute. We got a long walk. Looks like we're not walking that way. We're going that way. Hey, so you have some fun walking the track. Hey, we should go to the other park, though. This park's white. They got the other tracks. It's like a giant bridge. You're going to fall off of it. It's got the waterfall. That shit is lit. It's cool. Now we might get up out of here. We'll say Shalom.